Hey everyone, this is Tony from the Hapal Gaming Zone. I am the moderator at the official Hapal Gaming website. We're also partnered up with the Hapal UK Gaming Team over in the UK. Uh, so you want to check those out, check them out as well. Um, I'm making this midweek video because of our friends over at Fragged Nation, and the guys over at Fragged Nation invited me on their Twitch TV show last night to be live talking about Hapog products, specifically the Hapog HD PVR and the Hapog Colossus, in addition to the OnLive gaming console. Now we all know that the OnLive gaming system is cloud-based gaming for not only your television and your PC, but also now tablets and smartphones. And so you get the opportunity to experience cloud-based gaming, and it's definitely a growing market out there today. Now, since the Hapog uh, devices are marketed for the mainstream consoles, such as the Wii, the PS3, and the Xbox 360, and some PC gaming with the Colossus, um, a lot of gamers are unaware that you can actually use Hapog devices to record your on-live gaming footage. Now, as you know, uh, you can record on-live gaming footage by using Fraps on your PC. Um, but Fraps, although being a great program, actually slows down your PC a lot, and a lot of people have frame rate issues. And so one of the, beauty, the beautiful things about Hapog products is they actually do the video encoding right in the device. So the HD PVR does that, and so does the Colossus capture card for your PC. So uh, I wanted to make this video, uh, the guys from Frag Nation said after the cast last night, a lot of people were writing in asking how do I use the HD PVR and Colossus to record my gaming footage um, from OnLive. And so actually I've been reviewing games and the micro console for OnLive for some time. And so this is something I've been doing for a while. So I was able to chime in and I wanted to create this video not only for our channel but the Frag Nation channel as well. Uh, to give you a tutorial of how to create um, HD PVR videos with the OnLive Gaming Console. So let's go ahead and look at this tutorial. It'll be kind of quick. Um, if you do have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below. And make sure you click the links here on my right to subscribe to the Hapal Gaming Zone, the Hapal Gaming UK team, and the Frag Nation channel as well. I hope this tutorial helps you, and here we go. Alright, so here we have the Hapog HD PVR Gaming Edition as well as the OnLive Micro Console. And we're going to take a look here and I'm going to show you real quick how to hook these two together. So the Hapog HD PVR obviously has standard uh, analog inputs in the front. Um, in the back of it, uh, you'll notice that you do need component inputs and um, component outputs to pass through the TV and the OnLive Micro Console only ships with an HDMI port as standard. So how exactly do we get around this? Um, you will see a alternative AV port under the HDMI port, um, an audio out port and then an optical audio and the optical just as a reminder is really neat because the Hapog HD BVR does support optical audio in and out. So um, the audio is taken care of but since there's no HDMI on the HD PVR uh, what's the solution? Well, I'm going to show you the solution here. I'm going to uh, swing in some component cables and show you how to get them to work with the OnLive Micro Console. And for, I think, around $30, OnLive makes this adapter, the component cables and analog audio out cables. And I think you can get them in a set for right around $29, uh, $30, right around there. And it plugs right in the HDMI and alternative AV input um, or output uh, from the OnLive Micro Console and then you'll also notice the alternative AV um, analog out and I have both of these in a set I use them with my HD PVR and like I said you can use the optical audio if you want to do that um, and now the rest is just standard procedure um, you're gonna want to line up the component and audio uh, analog audio cables into the HD PVR input um, from the OnLive console and you'll just plug those in just like so. And the rest is like I was going to say, just standard uh, operating procedure. You'll want to hook a USB cable um, to your computer from your HD PVR. You'll also power up the HD PVR and do component audio or component video and audio out to your TV for a pass through. And uh, there you have it. That is simple. Uh, that's what I do to record my OnLive reviews all the time is the OnLive connected to the HD PVR. 
Now, you'll notice here on the screen I have an image, and I apologize, uh, my Colossus, uh, Hapal Colossus, is actually put away because I'm transitioning to a new PC right now, so I have stuff everywhere. So I'm just going to show you a photo here. You can see it's labeled. Um, this is the PCI Express uh, Times One um, desktop graphics card here. It's not really a graphics card, but it's a capture card. Um, and technically, the Hapal Colossus does everything that the HD PVR does and even a little bit more so you actually insert this into a PCIe X1 slot on your desktop PC and you technically have an HD PVR in your computer um, in the form of the Colossus here you'll see it comes with the two component dongles, dongles. so you, if you have, actually have your desktop hooked up to your television um, you can hook in a console just like you would with the HD PVR and those component cables and pass through to your TV or to your high definition desktop monitor. Has optical audio uh, input as well, an IR blaster. And then what you're going to also notice about the Hapal Colossus here, uh, one step up from the HD PVR, it actually has an HDMI input. And uh, so you can actually plug your OnLive micro console directly into your PC that way. Or one of the things I like to do is uh, take my graphics card here. Um, from my PC and as you'll see it has an HDMI output as many modern day graphics cards do and I will output that from my PC directly into my Hapal Colossus card and then I will dual mo I'll set up dual monitors or I'll also have it uh, multiply the displays in my graphics settings and what that allows me to do is actually capture high definition PC gaming or in this case high definition on live gaming streaming to my desktop in the same PC from my graphics card to the Hapal Colossus. So you can either hook up the micro console to your PC or to your HD PVR or go directly from your video card to the Hapal Colossus that way everything else is standard operating procedure and you can record your on live gaming footage um, from your micro console or your PC into the Hapal Colossus or the HD PVR. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Make sure you um, subscribe to our channel. Leave any questions or comments in the section below, and I'll try my best to get back with them. I hope that this was helpful for you.